Hi Taurus, how are you? This is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back and if you're new, welcome as well. Thank you my Cyber Angels for all your likes and your thumbs ups and your shares. I do appreciate it very much. And it's nice to see you coming in and um, watching the videos and I hope to see you in the live. If you want to be notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up, then please subscribe and hit the bell on all and set your settings in YouTube to receive notifications and also in your device. If you don't know how to do that, then there is a little video under news and updates and that will explain to you on how to do it. So I hope you are enjoying the extra videos on like pumpkin soup and the pumpkin light and how to recycle. The witches series is up and running and we're getting more views than ever before as this series is working with two books as you know because I've been reminding you and it's really great fun. Georgina and I are having lots of laughs and learning whilst we are talking about the books. This is how to keep yourself in your power and healthy and also make you more conscious of what is happening around you and environmental friendly as well. So let's get started with your reading. To open up the week you have victory. You got the Ace of Swords. Look at that sun rising. Something has come to your attention and something has become clear, the truth is out perhaps on how you feel or where you want to go to because the sword also represents perhaps you might be starting a new study or you could be meeting a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarius and you might woo, feel like you are beaming like that sun in the picture you're on cloud nine you can communicate with each other, you can think like each other, you feel as if you've met your soulmate. Although we don't have the lovers here or the two of something, I don't, I can't see anything, but you feel twigged, you feel you can think on your feet and talk like a, a salesman selling ice cubes to Eskimos. It's amazing. You've got the gift of the gab this week. You've you can you've been if you are in a judicial situation, you've said your piece. And you meant it and the truth is out. You are on top of the world. There you go. You've got the wheel of fortune, which is actually represents to me like the the world. You that sometimes you're in the dip and then you're at the top. Well, you are at the top. You feel great. You feel as if the world is your oyster and you're right there. You can, you hold the key to your power, to your decisions, to your actions. Never be scared of uh, taking a decision and having responsibility for your decisions because you, so long you stay clear, transparent and honest then you will be all right. You might even be going up to the next notch um, in work, in your career or in your relationship as you each spoke means a notch going up to the next level. You might be moving home you could have just bought a house or rented a new house and you're expending because you want to start a family perhaps. Perhaps you're going on holiday. The four angels are uh, covering your back. Ariel, Raphael, Gabriel and Michael. There you go. Well, this is a new deck for me and it is called the Star Tarot by Kathy McLeckland and it's beautiful so if you would like to see more of these cards then watch the review. 
with the world you have the four elements that are represented now I don't agree with that Michael is fire because Michael usually represents air but you can find the Archangel Michael um, at the bottom right hand corner so that is there for you okay and he represents Leo and he brings protection the element of fire the, astro uh, the astrological aspect of this and then we have at the Archangel on the bottom left hand corner that is the blue Archangel and um, that is Archangel Uriel bringing you peace the element of earth the astrological aspect is Taurus the Archangel at the left uh, top the top left is Raphael bringing healing no that's your left sorry I'm getting muddled up with right and left so that's Archangel um, uh, Raphael and the air sign is um, Aquarius and he's bringing you healing and then we've got one angel left and that is Archangel Gabriel in the right hand corner and Gabriel brings resurrection the element of water and the astrological sign is Scorpio so you could be meeting an Aquarian, a Taurus, um, Scorpio or um, a Leo so that's why you feel complete and in balance the angels have your back the truth is out whoa new beginning new communication perhaps a job as a presenter or communicating in some sort perhaps you might be starting to write a new book now wait uh, if you haven't started wait until the 4th of November or after because Mercury is in retrograde at the moment or getting things published wait until after the 4th of November then we have the six of swords and you're moving away from rough waters you're going into quieter waters you might be moving home because this is moving home or going on holiday you might be moving home or going on holiday as well you might be crossing water awesome so there's two cards on moving you're moving forwards anyway and you're going to a better place then you have the page or the prince of swords and the prince of swords is the page of swords you will be receiving news you will be receiving clarity and this news could come through cyber this could be through email text message or a telephone call but like I said um, you could be meeting uh, a Gemini Libra or an Aquarium okay something might be uh, giving you sleepless nights but I'll get to that in a moment then you've got the four of Pentacles you might have um, some issue with money you might be holding on to it for dear life because you might be scared that you won't have a job if this is regarding to a job or a study so you're holding on too tight onto money if you're spending money or spending money uh, like water then this is a warning card hold on to your money tighten those purse strings but you might also be closing yourself off and isolating yourself you're not coming out of your comfort zone there are new beginnings definitely because the wheel of fortune is also an ending of a phase going into a new phase and the ace of swords as well and you're moving on whether you like it or not because you've got this six of swords good news you will receive good news so don't worry but don't hold on to people too tight either it's when you pluck, pluck a flower you know it's going to willow away and that's what will could happen 
in a relationship if you hold on too tight or try to control your partner or the situations then the fire will extinguish so let that little everlasting light keep on burning balance yourself don't be too scared don't have sleepless nights don't worry too much again a nine okay you are going up in the world you've got victory you've got beautiful cards and just look at the staircase um, so I think you're going to go up don't worry too much there's an ending to a face you've got the nine of swords the same as the wheel of fortune but you're going up because life keeps on continuing and going on and forwards and you're going to better things you could even be meeting the king of cups and that is cancer but don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces this is a beautiful handsome gorgeous passionate loving nurturing man he's gentle everybody's got their nooks and crannies so don't worry but don't try to control the situation in a relationship or at work because it will pitter out okay and you've got the six of wands next to the nine of swords you have victory you've got passion the six of wands is victory you're you're being held in like the champion you've got recognition you're going up, upwards and onwards either in career or in a relationship if you have been married with somebody or together with somebody for years and years and years there will be a new spark don't worry but be creative keep the communication going you've got lots of swords three four so keep the um, do something constructive get a new hobby have some time to yourself let them have their time so you can meditate or contemplate or play music that you like you don't have to listen to their music if you don't want to have some sacred time for yourself this will keep every relationship fresh and interesting okay again holiday or moving home so you've got three cards on moving home or on going on holiday seek understanding yes go within words may be used by you as a calming balm in the face of antagonism yet your skills as a cooperative listener will all so be needed at such times nothing is ever meant to break your spirit rather it is meant to liberate you from false ideas you may be holding about yourself what you are in need of learning is to meet opposition with love there you are that's the card for learning rather than to shrink into the face of it tackle the situation directly and with common sense while also keeping to an honorable measure of compassion for the other renewal is on its way definitely so learn how to communicate learn what the other wants learn what their boundaries are set your boundaries you can change them each day so but inform the other half or the other person concerned be transparent and be clear intuition meditate meditation will provide answers that's what I said give each other space to meditate Taurus be careful what you say say what you're going to do and say what you mean be clear and 
watch your intonation you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar I know the five of swords is not on the table but it is, this reading is about communication you've got the ace of swords you've got the six of swords and you have the page of swords and you've got the nine of swords the swords stand for communication and respect each other's boundaries you can set your boundaries every day again but let the other person or partner know what the boundaries are and that they shouldn't cross the boundaries that is respect in a relationship giving each other room and respect that is a big part of love communication respect and know how far you can go if you know the other one the other person so well then you are with your soulmate but give them also the opportunity to say what you think they were going to say okay thank you very much for watching please give us the thumbs up and please share with family and friends Take care, stay safe and be blessed. I hope to see you in the life. Ciao, ciao.